Hello everybody, I'm Shadesma, and welcome to Persona 5 Royal. So, in honor of Persona 5 Tactica, I decided to play through Royal. Um, I have beaten Persona 5, the original, on the PlayStation. I have never played it or Royal on the computer. Um, this is going to be a heavily modded playthrough. Uh, mods consisting of things like expanded persona, compendium, um, female joker, uh, guard regeneration, and a couple others. Uh, and in full transparency, it's probably my fourth time trying to record this little intro because the female joker mod keeps giving me problems. Admittedly, it's not all its fault. I tried the, out the Kasumi mod first, and it seems like some of the stuff from that mod got stuck, if you will. Um, I will be using this story a guide is a work of by Aluku, Alukid, um, because yeah, when I played it on the PlayStation, I did really bad when it came to time management. So having a guide to follow for at least that portion so I can max out the confidence, that's important to me. <laughs> Similarities between characters or events to persons living or dead in your world are purely coincidental. Only those who have agreed to the above have the privilege of partaking in this game. So meta. And I'm still wondering if this is Philemon talking to us. The contract has been sealed. Or if this is uh, somebody the else. The world is not as it should be. It's filled with distortion, and ruin can no longer be avoided. Those who oppose fate and desire change. From time to time, they were referred to as tricksters. You are the trickster. Now is the time to rise against the abyss of distortion. on our end. Hmm? What was that? Don't worry about us. Just concentrate on getting away. Hmm? And there you go. That's the female Joker mod. But I have um, to say, showing yourself above that crowd earlier was an excellent move. Nice work as always, Joker. <laughs> oh, I'm also using custom bonus tiers. You. you. Okay, that's different than last time. That's a good sign. Yeah, Let's last go. time I tried this, they were completely Everyone silent. Their voice lines were no got worries. canceled out by something. Stop right you there! Take him down, Joker! <laughs> oh, that looked more like she broke his neck than ripped off his mask. Point. Do I have Kasumi's weapons? Yes! 
Alright, the mod seems Good. to be working this time. Joker behind you. Go through that door. You should be able to get out that way. Hurry! Hey. Don't worry. Gotta admit, the one thing I don't really like about this model is the hair. It's so weird. I don't. I can't even tell you why I don't like it. It's just. Hmm. Nah. I guess it's not that bad. The intruder simply can't be found. You're quick. You see, so, so this is, you see how the um, skirt is clipping through the coat? That is not a problem with the female Joker mod. It is actually being caused by the custom bonus tweaks mod, which does a lot of cool things with letting you see your costumes and cutscenes. And right now, without it, I'm pretty sure it'd be showing the Mel model right now. But I could be wrong. And this right here is why I did not do the Kasumi mod. I'll end this right now. Joker, it's her! She's the weird reading I've been getting! Oh. The Kasumi mod said that they had replaced her, uh, Violet there with a female Joker. But they, they didn't, or it didn't work for me. relied on you so much that ends today let's do this senpai the enemy readings have decreased that's it's been a while since we last fought side by side but this time it's my turn to come to your aid, Senpai. Now let's win this! Yes, yes, girl, talk to me as if, as if I should know what's going on. <laughs> let's go! Go down! for them to track you down. You still have something you need to do as a phantom thief, right? Then I won't stop you. Since I'm not a member of the phantom thieves, 
I'm in no position to interfere. However, please don't forget the promise we made. Joker, you need to get out of there. Go, go, go! All right, let's do it. I have trouble believing that even the Tokyo police have that many people on the force. Still struggling. Suspect secure. Didn't expect to find some kid. You have your teammate to thank for this. You were sold out. Suspect confirmed. Cuff it. Guess the drug was too strong. Uh, yeah, Wake those cuffs up. are a little off. No dozing off. You still don't get it, do you? Give it up! Come on, cooperate! What? You want another shot? Huh? What about the camera? Are you thinking it can be used as video evidence? My question. Answer. <coughs> Obstruction of justice, blackmail, defamation, possession of weapons. Manslaughter too, yeah. Talk about the works. Do you think that all those crimes were led by a punk like this? And you seem to be enjoying every second. It's gonna go normal. You should know your place. Thank you. It was awkward making those float. Sign here. It's a confession under your name. I can't see it. <laughs> You're holding it too high, sir. 
Don't expect to walk out of here in one piece. We are going to make you understand. One must take full responsibility for their actions. My ears are a little lower. Oh, floating pen. Cool beans. Ah, I am just magic, man. Uh, is this first name, last name, or last name, first name? Meh. Shadesville. Excuse me, but this area is off. I'm Nijima from the public prosecutor's office. The prosecutor's office? What business do you have here? Just let me through. It's urgent. There's something I need to confirm with the suspect. Nijima-san, I believe this case is no longer in your jurisdiction. Besides, are you prosecutor Sai Nijima? I just got off the phone with your director. Hurry and get it over with. To be frank, you're being an inconvenience. Yes. Mm, I thought I ordered you to stand by. I'm responsible for this case, yet I'm not even being allowed an interrogation? I'm calling because I knew you'd bring it up. I will not be convinced unless I confirm it for myself. This is my case. Uh, good luck to you then. I won't be expecting much though. Ah, Prosecutor, I forgot to mention something important. Your time will be cut short. We can't permit you to talk with him for long. Such a lie. <laughs> it's for your own sake. His methods are unknown after all. We don't even know if it's safe to simply meet and speak with him. 40 hours later, I'm pretty sure I will still be talking to her. This is a long game. A long game. I didn't expect it'd be you. You'll be answering my questions this time. <sighs> Those bastards. Can you hear me? It seems you've been through a lot. Almost anything can happen here. And oh. I can't stop them. Is that That's a why hair I need you to sticking answer up me, or honestly. is that a shadow? I don't have much time either. What was your objective? Why did you cause such a that major must incident? A shadow. I didn't think it was a prank from the get-go, but I couldn't assemble a case for prosecution. It's because I couldn't figure out the method behind it. <laughs> True. There's no way I could be convinced of such a world just by reading the reports. It seems you're coherent. When and where did you find out about that world? How is it even possible to steal another's heart? Now, tell me your account of everything. Start from the very beginning. Girl, you're giving me gray hairs. You are held captive. A prisoner of fate to a future that has been sealed in advance. This is truly an unjust game. Your chances of winning are almost none. But if my voice is reaching you, there may yet be a possibility open to you. I beg you, please overcome this game and save the world. The key to victory lies within the memories of your bonds, the truth that you and your friends grasped. It all began that day, when the game was started half a year ago. For the sake of your world's future, as well as your own, you must remember. Half a year, so that means we only got about six months. Yes, please.
the doors to your left will open. <laughs> People, no, that's the last thing I want to do in a Persona game. You don't talk to people in Persona games. like no one's home. Oh yeah, Sakura-san's usually at his cafe around this time. Well, it belongs in the back alley, so I should make my other deliveries first. Hmm. Next, I need to take this package. Okay. Le Blanc it is. That's messed up. Mm -hmm. Ah, probably that little coffee mug. All right, Sakura san. The public transit bus was driven down an opposing lane with its customers still in it. The citizens can't live in peace if this keeps up. Oh, oh how frightening. What could be going on? Didn't something similar happen just the other day? And down is uh, the name of a shellfish used in pearl farming. Oh, well, I am right. They did say that was today. Well, we'll be going now, and the payment's on the table. Thanks for coming. Uh, this place is in the back alley, so there's no worries of a car crashing in here. 
A what now? There's been a string of those rampage accidents, you know. I just hope that none happen around here. None of my concern. <laughs> well, see you next time. Really makes me wonder how many people have died. Mm, I don't think they ever tell us. Uh, four hours for just a single cup of joe. So, you're the guy. Uh-huh. I'm Sojiro Sakura. You'll be in my custody over the next year. I was wondering what kind of unruly kid would show up. But you're the one, huh? Have you been told? A customer of mine and your parents know each other. And, well, not that that matters. Follow me. Hmm. With auto dialogue, the pacing of the dialogue is kind of awkward. This is your room. I'll at least give you sheets for your bed. Hmm? You look like you want to say something. It's on you to clean up the rest. I'll be leaving after I lock up each day. You'll be alone at night, but don't do anything stupid. I'll throw you out if you cause any trouble. Now then. I got the gist of your situation. You protected some woman from a man forcing himself on her. He got injured, then sued you, right? That's yep. what you get for sticking your nose in a matter between two adults. You did injure him, yeah? And now that you've got a criminal record, you were expelled from your high school. Which the makes zero sense. The court ordered you to transfer and move out here, which your parents also approved. Because they're bad parents. In other words, they got rid of you for being a pain in the ass. Exactly. It's best you not talk about anything unnecessary. I am in the restaurant business, you know. Gotta Behave keep yourself for the year. If nothing happens, your probation will be lifted. Cause any problems and you'll be sent straight to Juvie. We'll be going to Shujin tomorrow. Shujin Academy, the school you'll be attending. We'll introduce ourselves properly to the staff there. There's rarely a place to accept someone like you, you know? What a waste of my Sunday. Your luggage arrived a little while ago. I brought it up here for you. Thank you. Guessing that's that box in the middle. they made her shorter than him there there's no reason for it hmm and it just throws all the animations off height wise hmm what the heck i heard you making all sorts of noise up here but i didn't think you were cleaning got quite a bit done so how you didn't Actually, see me take the, the trash out, I don't get. No, it's only natural you'd want to keep your room tidy. Why don't you go to bed for tonight? You don't have anything better to be doing, right? I'm we'll going to close up more. shop and get out of here myself. I won't be the one looking after you if you get sick from staying up too late. You got that? Okay. Yes, time is extremely limited in this game. Ugh. Especially compared to Persona 5, this game added, what was it, three additional confidants? Damn brat! I'll sue! Baldy, baldy. No! Don't give me that shit. Ow! Please stop! Uh, 
What a waste of time. You think you're worth causing me trouble? Huh? I'll... I'll call the police! Call them if you want. <laughs> no! Stop! Someone called the cops, huh? Get in the car! Incompetent fools like you just need to shut your mouths and follow where I steer this country. What are you looking at? Get out of my face! This ain't a show. Get lost, kid. See? This is all because you're so damn slow. Get in the car! New ability unlocked. Intangibility! Prisoner of fate. <laughs> Oxymoron. Interesting. Welcome to my velvet room. Okay, that's essentially the same voice from the start. So that was whoever was talking to us at the start of the game. So you come too, inmate. The you in reality is currently fast asleep. You are only experiencing this as a dream. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight. Welcome. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. I am Igor, the master of this place. Remember it well. I summoned you to speak of important matters. It involves your life as well. Still, this is a surprise. The state of this room reflects the state of your own heart. To think a prison would appear as such. You truly are a prisoner of fate. In the near future, there is no mistake that ruin awaits you. I speak of the end to everything. However, there is a means to oppose such a fate. You must be rehabilitated, rehabilitated toward freedom. That is your only means to avoid ruin. Do you have the resolve to challenge the distortion of the world? Hmm. Allow me to observe the path of your rehabilitation. Ah, pardon me for not introducing the others. To your right is Caroline. To your left, Justi. They serve as wardens here. Try and struggle as hard as you like. Hey, Caroline. The duty of wardens is to protect inmates. We are also your collaborators. Hey, Justine. That is, if you remain obedient. I shall explain the roles of these two at another occasion. Now then, it seems the night is waning. It is almost time. Take your time to slowly come to understand this place. We will surely meet again eventually. Go back to sleep. 
Considering that's my alarm going off, I don't think I'll be sleeping much longer. Sunday. Indeed. Looks like you're up. Well then, let's go introduce ourselves properly to the staff about your transfer. This it'll take a while to get there by train. The transfers are a real hassle too. I'll drive you there, but just for today. Let's go. Jeez. Do me a favor and behave yourself, all right? Don't get me wrong. I don't care what happens to you. Just don't cause me any trouble. To reiterate, just so we're clear, you will immediately be expelled if you cause any problems. In my opinion, you're nothing but a liability. But we had our circumstances to consider. Whatever you might have gotten away with in your hometown, those days are over. If you are thrown out from our school, there will be no place for you to go. Keep that in mind. This is the teacher in charge of your class. What do they think I'm I Sadayo did at my Kawakana. hometown? Here's your student ID. Be sure to read the school rules. Any violations will send you straight to the guidance office. And if by chance you cause any problems, I won't be able to protect you at all. That is your promise, yes, Principal Kobayakawa? Mm-hmm. He is responsible for all his actions. But really, though, why me? There should have been better candidates. It was a sudden transfer, and your class was the only one that had an opening. If you're done explaining things, mind if we get going? I got a store to get back to. Sakura-san, please keep a close eye on him. Don't let him cause any trouble outside. Well, I'll be sure to have a serious mm. talk about the situation he's in. <sighs> Come to the faculty office when you arrive at school tomorrow. I'll show you to your classroom. All right, so we might Everyone's end up giving you the cold tomorrow. shoulder. That's what having a criminal record does to you. Turns out your past follows you wherever you go. Mm. By the way, if you get expelled now, I won't hesitate to kick you out. Got it? Yeah, because the, the mod said that it had done the dialogue all the way through the main story and the confidants. School never changes, huh? Hmm. Come on. We're good. What a troublesome situation. I can't believe they pushed someone with a record on me. A male teacher would be better suited for this. Why in the world was someone like that admitted here? Who knows? It was the principal's decision. I was told that it's for the school's reputation. I would have thought that my volleyball team has contributed more than enough to cover that. That's certainly true. Be careful, okay? Then again, if anything were to happen, I'd kick out a student like that right away. Well, I keep wishing that he'd just end up not coming to school. Still, that isn't something I should be saying as a teacher. Well, well I should really be returning be. to practice. Oh, right. The tournament's coming up, isn't it? <laughs> Having such high expectations placed on you by others is quite a problem in itself. We'll have to work hard to make up for the track team, too. Yes, that's true. Why'd it have to be my class? Traffic's not moving at all. You're taking the train starting tomorrow. So, how was it? The school, I mean. You think you can manage? You brought it on yourself, though. Still, you were expelled once already. <laughs> to think you'd re-enroll at a different one. It's not like anyone will be sympathetic with you. If that's what it was like at school, People might say stuff about me in the future, too. What a troublesome kid I've taken in. I was asked to do it, and I just happened to agree to it. Uh, I've already been paid for it, too, after all. And now, back to today's top stories. A subway train has derailed, severely affecting the timetable across all of... 
Oh, another accident. So that's why it's so crowded. There's been a lot of those lately. In fact, there was a real sad one just last month. It happened before you came here. If I remember right, the girl that passed away was only 15. Her parents have got to be just... All traffic around Shibuya Station is being redirected due to the accident, so drivers should expect jam-packed streets. Oh, come on. Well, hey, at least we didn't take the chain, Sakura-san. Yeah, I don't think he's okay. So he was fine after that event. Like his mind was it's fine. Less of an operating mm. accident and That's more of a crime of the company and the government. Site inspectors apparently reported all of this six months ago. The deterioration of the tracks and the ATC. Seems a railway company and the Ministry of Transport both turned a blind eye to the truth. There's no way they can hide. This will go all the way to the top. Now on to our main story. With this derailment accident, as well as other recent incidents of unknown motive, concern is spreading among the general public. Just what could be causing such a drastic change so suddenly in these people? SNN has Everything's linked. That's what you're thinking, correct? Furthermore, according to SNN hmm. sources, oh well. Are you free? You and I haven't gone for a drink in a while. Thank you, sir. But I have another meeting to attend. I must be going. I was I was ready to go for this meeting, and that's when this extremely fast train just came crashing in. Oh man, I thought I was gonna die. A noisy subway platform filled with people was suddenly. Did you ask for me? Is it a case? Not quite. I want your opinion on something. Sure. Your judgment is quite often correct, though. Can we discuss this over sushi, perhaps? You are making a student work late, after all. Conveyor belt only. Huh. <laughs> yeah, okay. Damn, to think there'd be that much traffic. What a waste of time. I, I think that walk is what today. actually convinced me just now. So after this episode, we're going to be removing that mod. Whatever. <sighs> Just head upstairs. There's something I need to give to you. Talk about a gruesome accident. 80 people were involved. How many died? Here's a diary. Make sure you keep it up to date. You may be under probation, but there's no special limitations on what you do in particular. Besides following the law, that is. However, I'm obligated to report on you, which is why I'm having you record your daily activities. <sighs> hey, what's up? I'm about to leave right now. Don't worry. I'll be there in no time. Uh -huh. I'll see you soon. Well, I'm off. I'll lock the place up. So do whatever you want for the rest of the night. Oh, but don't mess up my store. If something goes missing, I'll hand you right over to the cops. You got school tomorrow. You better head off to bed, all right? Feminine boys. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's too many little problems, though. Have you forgotten my voice already? It's Sakura. It's too much trouble for me to come back just for that. Think you can do it for me? I doubt any customers are gonna come now, even if the signs flip to open. But I have to say, this is quite a relief. Mm. I'm glad you actually picked up. Anyway, I'll leave the shop sign to you. What was that? Hmm, there in the middle. And maybe lock the door too? Lock the door too, maybe? Fine, 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 fine. I'll just add this. I'm going to save this first episode here and end it. Like I said, starting next episode, we won't have the female Joker mod, which sucks. But hey, it was interesting while it lasted, right? <laughs> See you guys next time.